Hi guys, this is Binibining Maraket once again for the same spot, for the, my favorite spot here in Sheikh Syed showroom for this episode of Balik Dubai sa gitna ng pandemic. Before I will start, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and make a comment, and click the notification bell para ma-update kayo sa mga future vlogs ko. So it's gonna be like a special edition again, special edition kahapon was uh, honoring my my first born son. So ngayon, ang topic ko is all about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving for the greatness of our Lord God. Thanksgiving and showing gratefulness. Magsha-shout out ako sa mga taong um, gusto kong pasalamatan. It's been almost three months of my YouTube channel. So it's another, um, you know, fulfillment na yung mga comments, yung mga private messages na nagsisend sa akin, how um, you know, I somehow nakatulong ako yung mga information na sinashare ko. So, it's time for just like say, saying thank you and shout out dun sa mga taong yun. And today, I want to share how, uh, you know, the overwhelming feeling because today po, I had my confession. Yes, uh, you know, in the Roman Catholic religion, so... I mean, we're all believe in one God, in one Christ, the Holy Spirit. So, sa amin kasi yung mga Roman Catholic, it's uh, the sacraments, which is we have seven sacraments. Napaka-importante po ng confession. And indeed, after the lockdown, after kung umalis, nakabalik ng Pinas, ngayon lamang po uli ako nagkaroon ng confession. It's a very um, intimate confession. Um, ang St. Mary's is still close. Pero nagkaroon ako ng, I'm blessed to have an appointment with the Reverend Father Chito. So this morning po, I was there at 8.30. And yung feeling na naramdaman ko when I entered um, the church after several months of lockdown in the Philippines, in uh, St. John Nepomuceno in Cabiao, dun po ako kinasal. So parang, ba parang na-enter ko siya, sobrang overwhelming. Um, sabi ko nga, pag uh, matagal ka nang hindi nakakapunta sa simbahan, tapos papasok ka uli. Although you can talk to God anywhere, but pero iba kasi pag sa simbahan. So, naramdaman ko uli po kanina. So, I had, uh, you know, I could consider this day as one of the remarkable day. After several months of lockdown, close ang St. Mary's, I was given a privilege to, to have a uh, confession and as a counseling na rin with Reverend Father Chito. Kaya maraming maraming salamat Father for giving me this opportunity. You know, ang sacrament of confession, uh, it's, as I've said, very important para sa amin mga Roman Catholic and you know, yung feel mo na na, na relieve na, na to the power of the priest um, na nakapag-confess ka. So, it's a renewal of the, your soul, renewal of your whole, your spirit with the guidance of the Holy Spirit. So, that's why ang Bible verse ko for today uh, is from uh, James 5 verse 16. And, and it says, Confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails match. So that is from James 5 verse 16. So receiving the sacrament of confession is truly a, a fulfillment of, uh, you know, bagong buhay. So uh, until now, um, hindi ko maipaliwanag yung pakiramdam but we confess everything. Um, yung confession na sobrang natagalan, my last confession was uh, before the end of the year actually before end of the year in 2019 so yun po i was uh, able to have this and thanks god thank you father uh, reverend father chito thank you so much and as i've said with my purpose i did this vlog um actually matagal na suppose hindi dapat ako nag vlog but uh, it's just you know it will come in a god's perfect time so this vlog my vlog whether may COVID or walang COVID, the purpose is to share the gospel, the share of God's word, the share of the God's greatness in my life, my own experiences na, na sana makatulong sa iba, hindi man sa lahat. We, um, but I, I will use this platform to, to share uh, how great is our Lord, the miracles that I receive despite of everything that has been happened. So again, from James 5 verse 16, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another 
that you may be healed, the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much from James 5 verse 16. So, ayun po. So, shout out time. Okay, so of course, un unok pong pasasalamatan yung aking mga subscribers. I reached 51 subscribers for 3 months. Um, I know, in God's perfect time, mga dadagdagan pa. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Thank you for my number one, to my number one na uh, fan na lagi nagko-comment. Uh, the part of Trif Gang, Ernest Panganiban. Thank you so much. Thank you, best friend. And yung buong Trif Gang. Of course, yung mga friends ko sa, sa, sa CFC, Couples for Christ. Um, friends ko sa Dubai. And of course, yung family ko sa Lorenzo and sa Hosan family who also subscribe. And yung mga prayer warriors, um, Tita Grace, thank you so much for always praying. Uh, you know, um, sa totoo lang po, yung pag-travel namin ng mga anak ko, um, it's really a risk yung nasa uh, midst of COVID. But you know, always, when you always pray, as I've mentioned in all my video vlogs, start with the prayer, end with the prayer, and believe with God. Ipoprotect po tayo ni God, ng ating mga angels, and of course with Mama Mary. Kaya, naging smooth po lahat. So, marami salamat, Tita Grace. Marami salamat sa CFC Anzo, original Anzo household group. And of course, so Tita Mila, Tita Mila Padua, thank you very much. Siya po yung um, minute ko sa CFC uh, before ako umalis. And kay, kay, sa kanya pong anak, natumulong din po sa akin. And then, to bro... Edwin Duria, thank you so much. You know, bro, kasamahan ko siya sa CFC at the same time, um, office mate ko siya before sa Ubix. And of course, to my 4M family, 4M, we call this is my college friends, and hanggang nandito kami sa Dubai, Marjorie, Joy, si Marie Joy, si Mina, si Malin, and Marilu, kaya 4M. So, thank you so much sa prayers nyo. Sa trip gang, um, isa-isahin ko, sana wala akong makalimutan, to Agnes, to Teresa, to Sarah, to Maylene, to Christina, to Mayet, to George, and sino ba? May nakalimutan na ako. Ernest, I already mentioned the name. And to Twin Teen. Yan, kahit hindi siya madalas online. Thank you so much. Again, sa, kung mayroon man akong nakalimutang i-shout out, um, yung mga nag-comment, um, sis, um, prayer wire for the NCC, sis Leonie, thank you so much, bro Marvin. And of course, sa family ko, sa mga anak ko, who always, uh, you know, inspired and um, lalo na si Daniel, Daniel Hoso, my second child, lagi siya nagsabi, Mommy, do a vlog, um, do a vlog every day or every other day. So, I'll try to make, as I've said last time, um, I'll try to have a vlog, kahit short lang, 10 minutes, um, a daily vlog of inspiration. Maybe we will do it uh, uh, when I pray that, um, Lord, give me more wisdom and strength and help me to put more value with with my vlog and to to speak from the heart and not from my mouth so from the heart lahat po ng sinasabi ko dito are based on my personal experiences so disclaimer lang na naway makatulong so again maraming maraming salamat sa aking 51 subscribers family and friends um may mga nag private message follower ko daw sila and they like my my postings so ako po naman is instead mag-post ng negativity or mga negative news or you know yung mga hindi maganda i would rather choose to 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 give uh, positivity as i've said um god's word because we need food for soul sabi nga sa Matthew ayan baka magkamali na naman ako sa Matthew 4 verse 4 yung man shall not live in bread alone but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. So, aside from my rosary po, nakasama ko for 27 years, I always do read at least every day. First word, God's word. Last word, God's word. So, ayun po. And also, sis Jane sa Pilipinas, maraming salamat. And to my mentor sa financial education, sis France, thank you so much, Coach Randell, sa RFP Dubai, thank you. Uh, and to my Nino and mentor na si Sir Full Darunday, thank you so much and uh, sana wala po ako nakalimutan sa lahat-lahat po, sis Elaine Dublag Family, Lance um, sa lahat ng mga ng mga tumulong sa akin sa visas yung mga tumulong sa akin din financially syempre nagkulang, ay may maring Sheila Rochelle um, Sorbito, ayan, thank you so much 
And as I've said, thank you, thank you very much. Um, Tita Monet also, thank you. Um, yun po, uh, I just want to share with you how blessed I am. Blessed beyond measures. Um, Sis Alma also, thank you. You Anzo, um, Sis Alma, Sis Chris, Sis Joyce, Sis, uh, Tita Janet. Maraming maraming salamat. Kung meron man po akong hindi nabanggit, um, sa next shout out ko, I, I'll make it a point, ilista ko lahat para wala makakalimutan. So again, um, I just want to share how blessed I am, how God may and still continue making miracles in my life, in our journey. Never stop believing. Always keep the seed of faith hope and love. Itong pandemic na to, in Jesus name, matatapos din po. Ang birthday wish na aking anak, actually lahat kami when we celebrated our birthday, of course, siguro karamihan lahat, is matapos na tong pandemic. And, uh, as I've said, everything happens for a reason. Romans 8 verse 28. Yung isa na rin verse ko sa buhay ko. Uh, in all things, God works for good to those who love Him and to those who are called according to His purpose. My purpose to share love, to share God's word, to be the blessed and grateful mother of my three children, Benjamin, Daniel, and Lucas, to be the child of God. And I also post today yung victorious claim sa the feast. Uh, I'd like to thank also the feast, um, Brobo Sanchez, and uh, and also thank you uh, kay Pastor Rick Warren sa mga vlogs niya, and to Father Orbos. Kahit din nila ako kilala personally, but sila po yung nakatulong for, for my healing, for my journey, habang nasa 21 days quarantine po ako. And to those sa mga taong nasaktan ko, and um, verbally, sa isip, sa gawa, uh, I'd like to say sorry. Um, uh, I ask forgiveness kung may mga nasabi man ako, may nagawa man ako, may na-post man ako na nakasakit sa damdamin nyo. Uh, I'd like to say uh, a sincere apology. Um, let's start, um, you know, we're all human. May mga desisyon na kailangan talagang desisyonan. And pag naging, sabi nga ni Father Chito, pag naging objective yung desisyon mo, meron at merong masasaktan. But my word is, or my, my belief, Soon, in God's perfect time, may iintindihan ng mga tao sa bawat desisyon. Ito ang God's will. And yun, sa mga tao naman na nakasakit sa akin, I forgive you all. Um, ganun lang naman eh. Sa Bible, when you're reading, kahit yung mga kings, sa Chronicles, sa, king, sa book, book of Kings, diba? Uh, mga kings yon na pinagkatiwala ni Lord. So, sa lahat sa Bible, if you will read the Old Testament, how many times they they commit sins to God. But God is the God of uh, forgiveness, the God of mercy, the God of grace. So, kahit gano'ng pakabigat na kasalanan, ang gusto ni Lord is i-acknowledge natin yung sin and start a new life. And this is, I think, the very clear message of this pandemic. Hindi lang sa sitwasyon ko na nangyari personally sa buhay ko. As long as we are alive, we have our purpose. We are being called of God to His purpose. And we ask God's mercy, God's grace, God's strength and wisdom na maintindihan natin kung ano yung purpose natin dito sa mundo. Um, for me, as my legacy, I would like to be, a rem be remembered as, yung sinabi sa akin ni Tita Grace, a woman of faith and a woman of character. I tag as binibining maraket, kuracha, babaeng walang pahinga, o kung ano-ano man. But the only thing that I could uh, claim is I am a woman of faith and I am a woman of character. And that would be the legacy I will leave to my children, to my family, and on this earth. So again, thank you so much mga subscribers. Thank you for watching this video. And sa mga gusto pong karoon ng confession, ayan, you may contact Father Chito. Ay, kaya hindi ko siya ma, hindi ko mabibigay yung kanyang phone number. But, uh, uh, St. Mary's is accepting uh, um, appointments. And again, James 5 verse 16. Confess your sin to one another. Ayan, kasi hindi ko pa pa kabisado. Your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. So, yun po. So, sa mga taong na, nanonood na hindi Roman Catholic, 
as I've said, um, we respect whatever religion naman, as long as we have a good relationship with God, yan po ang pinaka-importante. So once again, God bless everyone. Share the positivity, share God's um, word through this platform. Always keep and nurture our soul by reading the Bible, praying daily, talk to God, start the day with God's word and end the day with God's word. And again, may the peace, love, joy, contentment, good health, abundant blessings of God, the seed of faith, hope, and love be with us all. Marami salamat. This is Binibining Maraket for the shout out and Thanksgiving um, edition. God bless everyone. Until to my next vlog. Thank you.